When it comes to disciplining my kids, I am an 80s baby, so I grew up in a time when we were all still catching cracks by our parents. And it's not like my parents had ever really hit me that hard. It was always more the anticipation and fear of knowing that I was about to get hit that really did the number on me. It was always more terrifying and more impactful than the actual hit it was that I received. Now, of course, I don't hit my kids, right? But they also know that's not 100% off the table either. If they do something crazy like take a swing at mama or something, well, then I'm going to whoop that ass. And they are well aware of that too. But I do make use of the fear aspect of it. And it's not so much in like intimidating them, like I'm going to hit them or something. It's more just showing them that they messed up or something and that I'm angry. So I can do that through a lot of ways. It's not, it's not even through like the specific words I'll say to them, like I'm swearing or cursing at them or something. It's more just in the way I say what I say and then in facial expressions and stuff like that. And I find that typically goes a really long way. You know, we will occasionally you know, put them on timeout or something like that or restrict pri uh, privileges. But I really find that's really not, it's not even needed. Like once I'm done talking to them and, you know, they're done feeling really terrible about messing up or doing whatever it is that they did, you know, they typically don't want to go run away straight to video games. They want to go like, okay, decompress, take a nap or something. And then when they wake up, okay, sure. Now you want to go watch your iPad or go do something fun you know, go for it. But it's not to say I've never gone overboard because of course I have occasionally. But even when that does happen, I'm always sure to apologize once things kind of settle down, talk to my kids where I think I went overboard, how I'll try to avoid doing it in the future. I'm also kind of grouped up in that is I make, I give them very obvious signs as I'm starting to get angry. If it's not just already blatantly obvious and you know, the way that I'm acting or the expressions and body movements that I'm doing. But you know, I might just straight up tell them, hey, you know, I'm starting to get angry, better watch your shit because you know, I might lose it pretty soon. But I find communicating that to them really does work well because I always want to be fair and consistent in the type of punishment that, that, I, that I deal out. So they can always, you know, kind of expect or, or have a knowing as, as to what might happen if they do something. Also really important in that too, though, is say, you know, whatever, they, they did something bad and they got to get in trouble for something. I'm always sure to, after giving them, you know, my side of it, why, you know, why I was angry, why I felt like they messed up. I'm always sure to get their side of the story and try to figure out, you know, why it is they did what they did. If they're even aware of why they did it, did they just get really mad and react without even thinking about it? That they, you know, where they're getting progressively, like slowly getting mad and they're scheming on something and then they decide to go ahead and get revenge on their brother or on a friend or something like that. So I, I think that aspect of it's really crucial too. And then also kind of linking up to the last video I posted, being able to read your kids is humongous, especially when it comes to disciplining them because you want to make sure whatever it is you're saying, whatever point it is you're trying to get across is actually landed. Right? If, if it doesn't land and it just goes over their head, then it's, it's pretty pointless. So you have to be able to read them and know how to communicate with them and have a good trust and relationship with them that, that you can go ahead and get your point across and that they can feel comfortable enough, you know, relaying back to you any useful information, like why they did what they did or, you know, their different thoughts on it, if they think it's unfair and things like that. So it's always, I'm always open to have that discussion, although really... If they do think it's unfair, <laughs> just tough shit for the most part, you know what I mean? But yeah, so in a nutshell, that's kind of how, how I deal with uh, disciplining my kids. Um, do any of you guys have kids out there? How do you deal with it? Drop a comment and let me know. Um, uh, most of the family is gone now, so the family reunion thing is over. So I should be back to uh, our kind of regular cadence of stuff and getting back to all the different comments or messages that I've been getting. But until the next video, keep parenting legit.